How's it going everybody, Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters discussion video, and this time it's on a topic that I'm sure you've heard a lot of people talk about over the past couple of weeks. Today we'll finally be taking a look at Goku GT and the discussion the community has been having around banning him. We'll also discuss my opinion on that topic as well, and of course whether or not I think that there is any possibility of Goku GT actually getting banned. So without wasting much more of your time, let's kick things back to where all of this talk began. It must have only been a couple weeks after EVO 2020 2019 when Sonic Fox posted this tweet talking about how he believes Goku GT should be banned for the overall health of the game. One specific thing he cited in his thread was that Goku GT was playing a different version of Dragon Ball Fighters at the moment. And although my overall thoughts on actually banning the character might not line up exactly with Sonic Fox, this is one point that I do agree with very strongly. In an age of Dragon Ball Fighters where Bardock's level 3 Oki was removed and a lot of other problematic post level 3 stuff was also removed, Goku GT was brought into the game with all of that very much still intact. You could also mention that while they did away with most double super setups, Goku GT was brought in the game with the ability to go into Spirit Bomb and then combo into other supers as well. So in order to summarize all of that, a point I hear a lot of people make and that I agree with is that Goku GT is like a Season 1 DBFZ character that somehow made his way into Season 2, and I think that alone is good enough reason to actually give Goku GT a pretty sizable nerf in order to bring him in line with the rest of the cast. Unfortunately though, the main problem with this and what I believe to be the main cause behind all of this ban talk is that when we got that initial first big balance patch for season two, they also informed us that that would be the only balance patch we would receive for the entire year. And that is why we are where we are today. I don't think it's necessarily that Goku GT is so overpowered that, you know, you have to run him. He's a mess for the game. I think it's more like he has a couple of things that probably should be nerfed, but in the back of every player's heads, they know we're not getting another balance patch. So I think that just kind of sets off a feeling of dread like, oh my God, we have to deal with Goku GT for the rest of this year at least. And think about it from a professional player standpoint. You're going to these events on your own dime sometimes. Sometimes you have a sponsor, but usually you're paying your way for a lot of this stuff. And in order to make some of that money back, you have to perform. Why wouldn't you if you know he's not going to get nerfed? There's all of this tech out there for him. He has a great mix-up tool that no matter how good you are, you still have to kind of guess. Why would you not play GT Goku right now? You probably should be playing GT Goku, honestly. If you're a professional, why not rock out with GT Goku? He has a fantastic assist with hit stun rivaling pre patch trunks. He can spend almost as much meter as you would like him to, whether or not he has teammates. His auto combo can ignore side switch and makes it difficult to reflect. And his block string is insanely long and has multiple instances where if you mix one or two things up, it becomes a very dangerous mix up tool. So again, I say, if you're a professional player, why would you not be playing GT Goku? And that, in a nutshell, is why people want to ban him. We're not getting a balance patch for a year, and people want to see some character variety. Unfortunately, I don't think it would necessarily work like that. There are a ton of good characters in Dragon Ball Fighters, which I think people would switch to over time given this one balance patch a year philosophy. So in short, those were some of the reasons people want to see GT Goku banned. Now though, I'd like to get into my opinion on the topic in which I could pretty much sum it up in saying, I don't think Goku GT should be banned. I have a lot of reasons I think this way, but I think the main one on my mind is that I just think bans in a fighting game, specifically a team fighting game, are really, really whack. The only instance I'm ever for bans is when there is just a comically overpowered character that will completely eliminate any need to actually watch a tournament. Think like when boss characters can be selected through the character selection screen or when they can enter a code and you can pick a boss character. Things like that in 1v1 fighting games where theoretically, if you even want a chance to win, everybody's playing the boss character. That stuff I of course understand a community ban being put in play. Anything else though, I find myself being pretty much against it. There's also the fact that even within Dragon Ball Fighters, I don't even think current Goku GT is the best character we've ever seen in this game. Like a lot of other people, I would also that Vanilla Bardock was a better character. I would even say Vanilla 16 was a better character than Goku GT. And these are both characters that were dealt with for a time and then were later nerfed through the game itself. Unfortunately, that again brings us back to the fact that this game is only going to receive one balance patch for this year and we have already received it, which again I would like to cite as the main factor behind this ban talk. Really, if you take nothing else away from this video, I would like to stress the point that if you're going to be running a yearly circuit for your game, I would strongly recommend separating the year with two balance patches. One to begin with, and then a second one with maybe minor changes to kind of once again try to balance everything out heading into the final. But even with the balance patch schedule we have now, I don't think it's worth banning Goku GT. It'll just separate the online and the offline communities further, especially when tournaments apart from the Dragon Ball World Tour, do they have to decide whether or not to ban Goku GT? Online play, how are players going to treat people that still play Goku GT? Because
because online is still going to be the wild west i guess at the core of it all i don't think goku gt is that big of an issue to really warrant bringing up all of these much smaller issues with that said if a balance patch did come right away how would i nerf goku gt well there's a couple avenues you should definitely take a look at first of all spirit bomb oki get rid of it get rid of it entirely he should not get hard knockdown even if you can adjust the down tech timing on it he should not get a hard knockdown at off it at all he should also not be allowed to combo off of it at all combo into it that's fine that's great actually i love that option for him a lot but it should be a choice goku gt makes for more damage not the end all be all better level three do you guys remember back when he was first being released and i said wow it's nice that he has a normal level three and a spirit bomb because now he can choose for going more damage or if he wants the standard Oki. Uh, turns out he's just using Spirit Bomb. Goku will fall to the ground and be free to act. Of course, this alone isn't going to make it the best level three in the game or anything. It does more damage, gives better Oki, and is a better combo tool. Uh, it's too much. I think Spirit Bomb should be nerfed. Maybe sliding knockdown I could see, but even that I don't even think is necessary. Just let him pop up off the ground normally after that. I also think his block strings are a little too annoying and should probably be nerfed a little bit so that he can't use some of his pole options uh, at parts where he currently can use them. The mix-up potential there is simply too strong, and I think you have to sit there and block for way too long to really expect a lot of players to get away with it. Sure, Goichi can, some other top players can, but most people, you get hit by Goku GT, blocking or not, it's pretty much a prelude to you losing your character. And I really do think, with all of that said, Goku GT would probably still be a high-tier character, just not as annoying as he is right now, and I think that's the main thing. I think a lot of people hate Goku Goku GT, not because he's really good, which he is, but also just in the aspects he's good at, it also makes him kind of annoying, if we're being real. And with all of that out of the way, the last topic is, regardless of what I think about Goku GT being banned, uh, even regardless of what people that want Goku GT to be banned, do I think that at the World Tour events, this could ever actually happen? No, I, I, I really don't think they would try to do that. I don't think they would alter the rules to say, all right, we're no longer allowing competitors to pick Goku GT. I really do believe in my heart of hearts that they would simply nerf the character before that happened. The people behind Dragon Ball Fighters have been updating little by little over the course of the year to the point where i do believe they're actively working on stuff for this game constantly behind the scenes i mean we know they are with dlc but even small changes to the game like the ui for some small systems in the game i really think that even beyond characters they're looking at little ways they can make fighters a better game so even if it doesn't necessarily work i do like the small nerf for gt hashtag just because it's a way for us to get our our thoughts out and just say hey we like the character, he's super cool, but we do wish that we could get a small nerf for him. So I ask if you're really serious about this Goku GT thing and you want him banned or want him nerfed in any way, uh, hop on Twitter and try to get the hashtag trending. It would not surprise me at all if they eventually do nerf him at least uh, one tiny minor bit. And that brings us nicely into the end of this video. Hopefully I did a good job of showing the other side of the Goku GT discussion that do want him banned and why I could see it in a way. I, I just per don't personally believe it. Let me know down below your thoughts on Goku GT. Should he be banned what do you think about that all of that stuff make sure to comment on down below while you're down there if you like these videos and like the channel make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and we also have some more videos of me actually playing this game up on your screen right now so make sure to check those out as well other than that i've been dr joya thanks again for watching this one and i will see you in the next video